The McGrail inquiry has held five preliminary hearings and progressed using existing legislation for the past two years. Its policies and processes had already been ironed out and accepted by those involved. Transparency International UK asks what has the inquiry chairman, Sir Peter Openshaw, done wrong to require such a hasty change to the inquiry's rules and statutory footing. The corruption watchdog asks if it is a coincidence that earlier this month the inquiry confirmed it would review allegations of inducements given to those providing witness statements against Mr McGrail. It says the bill was brought forward less than a week later, raising the prospect that there could be a relationship between these two facts. Of the timing, the chief minister said last week that two to three months ago, he was advised to update the legislation by the government's own legal counsel in the McGrain inquiry, Sir Peter Gatuana, and it had taken till earlier this month to get it ready. The government said the bill is an almost identical carbon copy, word for word, of the UK Act. But Transparency International UK said this is not quite true. It says the new law means it would automatically apply to existing inquiries without the need to consult with inquiry chairs. Earlier this week, the chief minister told GBC he would not use these powers to delay or terminate the inquiry. Yet Transparency International UK says the Gibraltar government has not included provisions in the bill that would make this a cast-iron guarantee. And the chief minister has alluded to the likely need to restrict public access to information in order to, he says, further the public interest.